Good morning guys. Yet another day in Kandersteg. It rained heavily last night and it's uh, unbelievable that this 50 euros or 60 euros tent that I bought a couple of years ago when I did my adventure trip in Jamaica withstood the rain and nothing got wet inside. It's a pretty stable, pretty solid tent. Everything got wet around me, but I was warm and cozy. I will try to maybe have some flights again. It's supposed that uh, around 1 or 2 p.m. Uh, the clouds to open again. Yesterday was also a very hard uh, day, a tough day where I walked to Oshinan Sea and then I flew from there. But for now I have to eat something. The eggs are almost done. Whoop, the water is boiling. I'm eating now some eggs. I have some salt here, some bread, and a couple of sweets maybe, and that's going to be my breakfast. I have to watch out also to eat properly every day, to stay healthy, to be able to push on this, uh, on this trip. If you want to see more and you enjoy this uh, crazy adventure that I'm doing with a bicycle and a paraglider through Europe, hit the subscribe button, I would really appreciate that, and like this video. Hey guys. Uh, yesterday I was uh, really pinned down in my tent. I could not even see one single sun ray. Everything was dark and cold. We had I think like 9 degrees Celsius during the day and that in the middle of the summer was not flyable at all yesterday. But now as you can see the weather has changed completely. This is my waterproof bag for the paraglider which is supposed to be waterproof but this is soaked in water. Look at this. This is still water dripping from there. And I'm trying to dry everything now in the sun. Here's my solar panel, desperately needing the sunlight because all my batteries are empty. As well, I have also washed my clothes or a couple of socks yesterday in the waterfall. And now it's all about going to fly. And I will try to take off from the highest point on this side of the mountain, which is called Pierced Mountain. So uh, let's see how that goes. The conditions are great for now. But anyway, let's hope this is going to be a nice day and uh, see you up there. Okay, I just arrived now at the cable car and uh, I am lucky because I found some other paraglider pilot today. His bag is right there. I spoke with him if you would also maybe would like to come to the mountain, Fiest. It's two and a half hours of hiking or maybe just two hours. Would be nice to not be alone to start from there for the first time. So yeah, that's the view that I have right now. Sunny day. I have to take now this road and uh, yeah, reach the mountain. guys almost those are the last steps oh look at this I have to go up here on this little uh, ridge and from here I'm going to start soon or from there it depends let's see Yay! yes my friends I finally arrived now on top of Fiest perfect weather conditions no clouds whatsoever it's warm up here, my clothes are drying on me. I'm here now for 10 minutes and um, I'm going to fly in this direction, down in the valley. This is where Kandersteg is down there and uh, I think 1300 meters uh, difference in altitude from the takeoff site to the landing site. What can I say is that I am really thrilled and excited to be up here. It is the highest mountain, the toughest hike I have made so far to reach a mountain to take off and uh, yeah just gonna chill a bit take off my glider and from this side I will have to start I will have to take off put on my glider here and take off in this direction 
the wind is coming now yeah it's looking pretty good so let's fly it worked it worked I took off from first <laughs> crazy Yes, 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 it's going here. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Flying paraglider in the Swiss Alps, it's such a unique experience for me at this point. The air is so crisp and fresh, and the landscape is absolutely breathtaking. And there is me seeing it all from above. Oh. Yeah, the GoPro is not working. The SD cards are crap. But uh, I can show you like this at least the view. Okie dokie guys, I landed, again a nice landing, my second landing here was really beautiful to start from up there. I'm going to go now again up, but maybe not so high anymore and uh, yeah, take off again. Okay. I took again the cable car. I have already something behind me. I walked all this road and then this, like that. And then I started taking this road, this path. That's real hike and fly. But it's definitely worth it and it's much more fun. Yeah, another hour to walk. Okay, I'm almost there. I passed already Steintal. It's right there, a bit lower here. I didn't like the takeoff site. It was not high enough. <laughs> so I decided now to walk up this road. 
and uh, look here for a nice takeoff possibility. That's the good part in Switzerland that you can start from wherever you want. I can fly, baby. I can fly. Okay, I, I arrived. That's my takeoff site here. Really wild. Ah. Of course, this is not an official takeoff site. It's just uh, a good meadow. I'm going to make myself ready now. I can already say paragliding is a bit crazy though. You just climb up a mountain. Wildly, you go up a slope, a hill, and you wait for the wind to be good. And then you start. Yes, from a wild takeoff site, which is right there at the stones. <laughs> yeah, this is the official takeoff site right there where the two gliders are aligned. Second fly for today. Glider is looking good, but absolutely no turbulence whatsoever. Oh, yes. Yes, baby. And right there is the cable car. That's the hut where I want to take, out, uh, take off from but uh, I didn't have a nice slope so I went all the way up there where the stones were That's really wild Good morning guys, I'm back on the track for another paragliding flight in Kandersteg. I am trying to find a site now that uh, apparently has a name. I do not really see where this could be because they do not really have any windsock, not even a windsock and not even a name. It's just around here. I'm going to try to find the official, if there is any official site. Otherwise I'm going to take again off from uh, some meadow. <laughs> okay, so I think I found it. I asked also another farmer here where the um, entrance might be because there is absolutely no windsock anywhere and I walked down this road but I had to come back up and I see that you can enter this meadow. I am now ready to take off. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty sketchy though. It's really steep. This hill is freaking steep and this is where I have to head to this direction. I really want to take off from this mountain. I don't want to pack the glider again here. Another one! <laughs> Another takeoff! First try, dope. Now let's do some proximity flying, but not too, not too close. We do not want any problems. Woo -hoo -hoo! Yay! Some proximity flying again, but watch out how much. We do not want to go in the trees. <laughs> Yay! And you know guys, on the camera it looks a bit further away than it actually really is. Whoa! Oh my gosh! That's so amazing! Freaking crazy! 
Look at this. <laughs> Whoop! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, so there is also my solar panel charging, it's still there. Okay, let's see how nice I can put this baby on the ground now. Nice landing. I am back on Alman Alp. This is going to be my last flight. I started my first flight in this region with this place. The only one that has the wind sock. Okay, last flight from here. Okay, let's see. Okay, today I am going to keep on uh, going south, riding south with my bike, paraglider and all my stuff. I will take the train through the massive mountains here just for a short distance because otherwise I cannot cross over them, over the mountains. And uh, yeah, from there, direction Zermatt. To be honest, I mean it's a very beautiful place, but I want to see more now. That's pretty sketchy to fly over these power lines. I'm gonna pack the glider now for the last time from this amazing scenery and uh, keep on moving. Thanks for watching guys. Like this video and subscribe if you want more adventures. Stay safe, fly with passion and see you in the next one. Bye bye.